In this tutorial, I'd like to show you one matte mask from Monadnock Media. One matte mask allows you to mask an unlimited number of video and still layers and transform those layers behind the mask. I'm in Final Cut Pro 10, but one matte mask works in Motion, Premiere Pro, and After Effects as well. You can find it in the Effects Browser under Monadnock Media. Let's take a look at how it works. To start using one matte mask, first create an RGB matte image in a program like Photoshop or After Effects. The matte image should be the same size as your sequence and block out different mask sections in areas of solid color. You can also create a movie file rather than an image if you want your mask to be animated. First, add your footage or images to the timeline and drag and drop one matte mask. Note, do not scale, rotate, or reposition the footage to be masked within the clip's transform controls. These need to be handled in one matte mask. If masking footage that differs in resolution from your project, you must make sure to choose None from the Spatial Conform menu in the inspector. If the footage to be masked is of lower resolution than the sequence, you must make it a compound clip first. Simply right-click on the footage in the timeline and choose New Compound Clip. Then apply one matte mask to your newly created compound clip. In the parameters, click the image well to load up your matte image. Using the eyedropper or color picker, select the color of the area that you want to mask your footage within. You may choose multiple colors if you want your image to span several matte areas. Use the Masked Transform tools to scale, rotate, and reposition your footage behind your mask. You can visualize and offset the anchor point by checking Anchor Visible. You may keyframe these values or pan and zoom your image behind the mask. You can distort or transform your footage using other effects. For example, flip horizontal, as long as you place those effects above one matte mask in the inspector. If you need to refine the edges of your mask, you can use the matte refinement tools. In other host applications, footage might be cropped if you transform it beyond its original boundary. In After Effects and Motion, you can use the Grow Bounds control to easily make your footage larger. One Matte Mask from Monadnock Media is a great, easy-to-use tool to mask anything right on your timeline. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com.